Here we are again, selling Hobson by the pound. Um, this is the Music 24 offering this week. And I have to say, I just looked through these and I, we're deep in the heart of EMI territory here. So let's just dig into it. Bar Talk, the three scenes. Um, this is um, the Budapest Radio Orchestra and Choir. Um, Stunning copy. They don't get any better than this, period, I say. Okay. This is one of those, his master's voice pressings um, that has the factory sample not for sale on it. Beautiful copy, I say. Very nice Westminster recording, which was licensed to EMI HMV for issue in the UK. This pressing has very quiet surfaces, making the music seem to jump out of the grooves. The performance of string percussion in Celeste is wonderful in its detail. So bar talk, not to be missed. Never see those anymore. This is one of the big boys. Joseph Segetti doing Prokofiev and Stravinsky uh, violin concertos. I write very rare gold label promo copy. The original sleeve, but here's a promo label. Gold label promo. You never see them. Uh, sound is superb and performance without compare. Segetti at his best and perfectly captured by Wilma Cozart Fine, R.C. Fine, and Bob Eberins, the Mercury recording t uh, team. Absolute highest recommendation. This copy is superb. If you don't have it, you don't miss this copy. Here's an interesting record. I had forgotten about this. This is uh, Antiel. Uh, ballet music, and it's performed by uh, Carlos Cernosch conducting the New York Percussion Group. Antiel, by the way, in this group you'll see there's a recording of Corroboree, which is another George Antiel uh, composition. Sleeper recordings, shocking dynamics on this Antiel piece and the Bryant the Brandt recording. There's also a Brandt piece on this as well. Henry Brandt, Signs and Alarms. These recordings definitely qualify as audiophile quality. You'll be surprised as I would. Top recommendation. Near perfect pressing with virtually no surface noise. It gets a wow. So there you go. Sleeper, you wouldn't know, but I'm here to tell you. Overtures of Vienna, Vienna Philharmonic, and Boskovsky. Lots of Boskovsky recordings uh, for Decca. Uh, this is a, probably a second or third pressing, uh, but in very, very nice condition. Um, yeah, this, this copy looks fantastic. Wagner, Vienna Phil, uh, with Horstein uh, conducting. Uh, different pieces from Wagner. Again, a beautiful FFSS copy of this. Looks in just stunning condition. Probably a second or third pressing. Delius EMI Concerto for Cello and Orchestra. Jacqueline Dupre on cello. And she is incredibly collectible, I'm sure you are aware. Huge chorus recording is startlingly huge. This early dog label pressing is pristine with nearly silent surfaces. Incredible sound. Dupre playing cello on side two is beautifully recorded with lush sound and overtures. Overtone, sorry. Near perfect in all ways. Top, top recommendation. This is that big dog label, remember, kind of a second pressing, but stunning. Homage du... Pavlova, 1881 to 1931. Superb mono recording of Kurtz conducting the Philharmonia Orchestra in Ballet Favorites. Nice dog and horn label, early copy with big dynamics. So this is a mono recording, but absolutely stunning. Here we've got uh, Balakirov. Symphony Number no. 1, Beecham in the Royal Philharmonic, early EMI HMV pressing with quiet surfaces that allow the excellent recording to shine in its full glory. Beecham nails this with the RPO, high 
highly recommended. This is a later pressing, but just beautiful. Plays great. Barbaroli English Tone Pictures, Ireland Box, uh, Bax, uh, Delius. Um, so it's a, a collection of different things with the London Sym uh, Symphony LSO. Early EMI Big Dog Pressing of Barbaroli LSO, doing compositions by Bax, Ireland, and Delius. Very nice detailed EMI recording. Nice copy. There you go. Epinius Zuckerman conducting the English Chamber Orchestra with Lynn Harrell uh, playing cello. Sensational Baroque cello works performed and recorded perfectly at Abbey Road Studios in London. Very rich tone and very detailed recording has many audiophile qualities. Top, top recommendation. Great copy, quiet surfaces. Bach Cantatas. Dietrich Fischer Dischgau. Absolute first white and gold pressing, right? We've seen those before. Um, that plays near mint with very quiet surfaces. The vocalist seems to be in the room on this near perfect recording. I can't imagine a better copy of this rarity exists. Wow on every level. I don't think I've actually done that before this. Performance, recording, and pressing, bravo, not to be missed. Bach cantatas. Beethoven, Creatures of Prometheus, ballet music. Rare co early copy of this fabulous recording and performance. Nice dynamics and quiet surfaces make this a copy hard to beat. Top recommendation, Yehudi Menuhin, conducting the Menuhin Festival Orchestra. Beautiful cover, too, by the way. Um, this is just such a nice ASD 2515. Here's our boy, Thomas Beecham, my favorite overtures. He loves doing overtures. Near perfect original first issue, white and gold. Wow. Plays near mint minus with very little surface noise. The recording is stunning in its dynamics and its low level detail. Almost impossible to find a better copy than this one. It doesn't get any better than this on LP. Another wow copy. Jeez. Absolute highest recommendation. Here we are in a little Malcolm Arnold run, I think, or maybe part of it. Um, Malcolm Arnold's Arnold Symphony No. 2 in English Dances. This is an EMI audio file recording from start to finish. Very detailed, very dynamic and low level detail, nice solid bass, nice copy with very little surface noise. The eight English dances are not to be missed. Top recommendation. Groves conducting the Bournemouth Symphony. Malcolm Arnold is the composer. Here we go. Mariner, St. Martin in the Fields, Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. Uh, and this is some different pieces, some very big pieces. The Albinoni. Adagio, Pachelbel Canon, and Bach Air. I say Christopher Bishop production for EMI of popular works. Mariner and St. Martin in the Fields are masters at this music. Enjoy. This would be ASD 3017. Got the color postage stamp dog label. Here we are back to uh, Adrian Bolt in the LSO doing Brahms Second Symphony and Aldo Rhapsody with Janet Baker singing. Fantastic early 70s Bishop and Parker recording production for EMI. Rich lush sound on this Bolt LSO read of Brahms Second Symphony. EMI Odeon pressing is very quiet and extremely dynamic. This is an example of why Bishop and Parker EMI productions are so highly sought after top top recommendation so remember this is one of those ones where they put the sticker over the dog and horn because they wanted to sell it outside of emi territory this is one of the big ones corroboree uh, george antiel or john antiel sorry um, and this is lanchbury john lanchbury conducting the sydney symphony orchestra this was actually an emi uh, Australian EMI recording. HP TAS Super Disc List title. Exceptional recording with tremendous low level detail and very exciting and dynamic music inspired by 
Australian Aboriginal people who influenced Antiel as a young boy. Top, top recommendation. Very dynamic and hard to find. You are their sound. Nice copy, I write. So yeah, this is actually, believe it or not, a record that I wanted to reissue. But the tapes are in Australia, so it makes it a little more difficult. You never see this record. Very, very good. Another Malcolm Arnold uh, composition, Concerto for Flute and Strings. Um, this is a beautiful recording of Arnold Concerto for Flute and Strings. Flute is mic'd perfectly, as are the strings, in characteristic EMI fashion. Quiet surfaces, top, top recommendation. I say has an exotic flavor from the flute. Fun. Huh, that's interesting. Anyway, there you go. Couple left. Uh, again, Malcolm Arnold, Concertos for Phyllis and Cyril. Huge sound on this great EMI recording with Malcolm Arnold conducting his own works with the Birmingham Symphony. Small pressing scuff at the beginning of first cut makes a small tick per revolution for about 20 revs, and then the pressing is virtually silent in terms of surface noise. The small defect does not distract from the enjoyment of the music. Rare copy, top, top recommendation. It's got the color small dog label. Another Arnold, we're on an Arnold roll here. Uh, Symphony, Malcolm Arnold Symphony Number no. 1 and uh, a few other pieces. Uh, him conducting his own music with the Bournemouth Symphony Orchestra. Superb recording of Arnold conducting his own works at Winter Gardens. Uh, Bournemouth, UK. Very detailed recording with nice dynamics and beautiful string tones. You don't see copies of this uh, shape often, in this shape often. Top recommendation. Another postage stamp label, colored dog. And finally, Malcolm Arnold, Symphony No. 5, Peterloo Overture and Four Cornish Dances. Big dog label pressing. Let's see, I'll show you that. Big dog label pressing. So the later pressing is very dynamic and detailed with very quiet surfaces, showcasing a fantastic recording of Malcolm Arnold conducting his own compositions. His number five is wonderful top recommendations. So there you go. I walk down the EMI path in my collection, and there's going to be a lot of lucky people this week. So. See you again soon.